Hey, I wanted to get you guys an update of some of the things that Rocky has been doing while he's been here with us at training. And so this was his first day out at a store. So we headed over to Sportsman's Warehouse, get out of the hot, hot weather, make sure these dogs are staying nice and cool. Um, brought another dog, Mookie, with us who's also training. And so we're just getting him out and we're making sure that he can focus, that he can check in with us, that he can heal through the store, that he can, you know, not go and mark his territory, um, pay attention, have better impulse control, not be so reactive. And so reactivity can look like a number of things. Sometimes it can be excitement. So sometimes when Rocky sees little kids, he gets really pumped. He loves little kids. And so he'll start reacting based on that excitability. So he'll start pulling on the leash and wanting to go over and say hi to them and jump on them. And what we're trying to create more with Rocky is more of a neutral tone because there's other times when he gets reactive where it, you know, it, like what we've seen with kind of the, the protectiveness behavior that he has with your son, where he kind of posts himself up by the door and says, you know what, I'm going to guard, um, you know, him from, from dad. And so we want to make sure that we're decreasing a lot of that reactivity by having him practice more obedience. So right here, I'm asking him to lay down be more calm, be neutral. He still needs a little bit of help and he needed a little bit of a reminder here. And all I'm doing is just putting a little bit of directional pressure on that leash. Sometimes if I bend over and point to the ground, he thinks, oh, this is playtime. This is freedom. You know, this is, this is affection time. And so he has a harder time laying down. But if I give that really clear direction in a downward motion with the leash, he does a little bit better with the downstay. And so that's been helpful as we need those reminders from time to time. So as we've had, you know, as we're walking through the store, there's quite a bit of workers that would come up and talk to us. Like there's somebody talking to us right here and, you know, same thing. I'm not just going to let him go run up and pull and say hi, that he actually needs to engage with me and pay attention to me. And so some of these things we're practicing in the neighborhood, there's, um, a lot of construction workers out in our neighborhood right now. And so as I'm walking with him, I'm using that e-collar to communicate. I'm using that leash to give direction as to where I want him to be and how I want him to behave, even though there's new distractions and maybe even things that might make a dog stressed and want to be reactive in a negative way where they're barking and lunging on a leash. So really, really good for him to be more neutral. He's a super confident dog. Um, and so if he is reactive, often it's not coming from fear, it's coming from confidence. And so we just want to make sure that we're really clear on the boundaries with him. And that's been really, really helpful. So some tools that we've been using with him is number one, the kennel. I just kind of took some pictures here of some things that I think will be helpful coming uh, home. This is really helpful for potty training. Um, another thing, helpful thing is the place bed. I have one outside as well as inside, and this is just a place for him to be. It's a little bit easier for me to pay attention to a dog when they're in a stationary mode. So as he's practicing the place inside, I know he's not wandering off to go pee on something. Um, one thing I also have found really helpful for, uh, on our walks is the prong collar. They make them really tiny now for little, little dogs. I don't think it's a tool you'll need to use forever, but I find it super helpful. The e-collar we've talked about, and this is going to be really helpful for recall. Um, it's made for tiny dogs as well. And then the last thing that we've been using is just a tracker. So, you know, he's not off leash yet, but just in case anything were to happen, having a tracker on the dog just keeps them super safe.